Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Two-Headed Wolf Gaming Channel as we are about to fight the Minoan Pool. Hope you've been waiting for this. Uh, let's see, can we take care of these traps first without triggering him? Well, at least one of them. I'm gonna try to move around. Like this is going to be dangerous. We have to be to stay capped on health. He has, as I, as you can see, like he's getting those circles around him that will increase his speed. One of the tactics that you could do is move around just until he loses the circles and then you attack him again. You don't want to sit too much close to him because he'll get quicker and quicker. Apparently the with the blue items that we have on us, it's going quite well. We have enough damage, we're decent on defense. This was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Breastplate of the bull, braces of the bull, let's show this off. This is 50 armor, this is 50 armor as well. I guess I'll keep it on, look at that. It's it's like a robe for us and we can get these bracers, like these look really cool, look at that. Covering your entire hand. This really makes me want to play Battle Brothers because you have this kind of cool looks there as well. Okay, is there anything else? No. Let's open the Majestic chest, but I don't see anything that amazing. Maybe in one of these? I don't think we're getting anything out of the primitive ones. So let's continue onward. We're in the room of the conduit. Our first state taste here. This is the Titan. And they're trying to break the conduit. They're trying to release more Titans into the world. So the boss battles are not done yet. He broke it, so we're fighting with Telkin Megalasios. No, it's not a Titan, it's a Telkin, whatever that is. Let's take away the life eaters because they're annoying. He's getting some damage on us. Uh, let's get some energy in as well. I like the speed. Speed and the amount of casting that we do. It seems like we're stunning him every once in a while because he does stop. Yeah, we have plenty of health potions. This is going well. There we go. A mystic orb, this, this is a great way to get a lot of stuff. Smoldering stuff, a Telkin Veil of Agility, Durable Embroidery, yeah look at this. This is a Telkin Armor by itself. You, you destroyed it! I saw it all from where I was hiding, it was amazing! I still can't believe that a mortal actually managed to best a Telki. I did not think a yeah. mortal could stay We got alive. an essence of a Prometheus a Flame and the Dionysus Swine Skin. 7500 experience. And we're going towards a Gnosis landing. Well. We are traveling now to Egypt. So I hope you are ready for it. Welcome everyone to Egypt. Greetings, traveler. I am Imhotep. Honorable Phaedrus has praised your accomplishments and sent word. 
Yep, there's a lot of character of notice from these three. We have him hold up here. Let's see if we can sell some of this stuff that we do not need. I don't need another one of these. I will keep this one because it's part of the set. I'm trying to put some sets together. I'm sure I'll get some sort of achievement here as well. Uh, better swords, finally. Ooh, 14,000, but this is definitely better. What else do we have here? Some Falcatas, Falcata of Terror, it's not better. It requires rest, strength and dexterity. Not necessarily better. It's really nice that it offers you better weapons, but with lower requirements. Games don't generally do that, like they put you in a class and you have to invest to be the strongest warrior, like you have to put points in the strength if you want the same type of sword to go uh, to the next level. But here, if you invest less strength and dexterity, you could still get an upgraded sword. It's just that it also pays if you, you know, go the right way, I guess. Okay, some Phyrigian Helm. I guess as far as the rest of the items here, they're not an upgrade yet. Always welcome. What else is here? Like we have a storage. Just, Just gonna throw this one in here. Put the rest together That's as well. Out of space. Hurry. The monsters will be here. Be careful. First portal in Egypt and we start up here in Rakatis. And we will keep going through the Valley of the Kings and stuff. Do I want to get any points back? No, I don't think so. It's not safe here. The city is overrun. We cannot. We fought bravely, but they. Family heirloom. As you can see, there are still like some Greek units here. I guess the idea is that you are in uh, in trade, right? So you would have Greek armors and weapons, and we're fighting jackals to begin with. I feel like they've done well in creating a good experience, and you can see. You can hear the music as well. It's yeah, kids running very quickly. That's mostly because we're on very fast speed. And they've done really well on creating the like this atmosphere of Egypt. Why am I putting the ad? Accent so hard on Egypt. At this point, we could change from playing Zeus and say that we're gonna play Pharaoh, right? Which is another wonderful game. If you've never played it and you are into city builders, I would recommend it. Spell piece. Mm -hmm. The head of a spell scroll, best item. Okay. I am not sure what that is about. I've never seen it before. Also scorpions. Have some caves around here. Look at this. I like their tombs or temples.
bloodthirsty jewel stuff. This is like in the form of Ramses and these are the dogs of Seth, I'm guessing. Look at that. Doesn't this look great? Can I talk to her? I thank the gods that you are. Okay. Library archives. Nice. I don't know why, but in this game I hate spellcasters, at least when playing a warrior, I hate spellcasters with a passion. <laughs> they gave them enough power to where you wanna target them at all times. Because they do, most of them have those auras that they can cast and move around, making the rest of the enemies a lot stronger and Resistances are hard to come by, especially early on, so having extra fire damage, extra cold damage, makes a difference there. Poisonous Crescent Blade of Frost. 19 to 9% extra cold damage, 9% extra frost burn damage, poison, and... I guess it is better if you're counting the poison, but I want them to just die quickly. What is this? Feral Shroud of Glory. Elemental resistance, energy regeneration and experience. That's a cool looking helmet. I guess the only thing it's a bit unfortunate is that even though you have all of these cool items that enemies wear, it's like you do, you don't get a whole lot of time to experience what it is for them to have that because they die quickly, most of them, right? Except for bosses. I feel like in a game like Battle Brothers, where the enemies wear in certain weapons and armors. Especially the human ones. You can see them from a distance away. Like they have the same abilities like in this game. Uh, the world respects the same abilities. So the enemies have the abilities that you can pick up as well. And in doing that. <laughs> you can fear them. It's just that in Battle Brothers a bit different. The mechanics are different. Oh, I mean, of course, at the end of the day, it's not the same game here. But in Battle Brothers, when one of the enemies is wearing a great item, you want to farm it. You want to make sure it's not damaged in order to make sure that you will get it. Because if you don't know in Battle Brothers, like if you want an armor of an enemy, if you want the armor, you have to make sure it's at as little is damaged as little as possible, or if it's um, a weapon, pretty much the same thing. Uh, but how do you do that? Well, with weapons, you have to make sure that he doesn't attack you with it. Scarabeus, the Desert King. Okay. So with, with weapons you have to make sure that they don't hit you with it, which reduces durability. So you want to make sure that you take them out quickly. And with armors, what you want to do is not attack him in a way that would damage the armor. So you basically could use like knives to puncture the armor or 
you know, have certain items that pass the armor and just hit, uh, hit you straight up. Which is not only easy to do, like the worse damage, the more damage the item has at the end of the fight, the harder it is that you will get it, the, slow, the lower the percentage of you getting it. Knife, durable plated braces, and durable Corinthian helmet. Okay, anything else here? We have one more coffer. I'm guessing it's as good as, yeah. Any kind of small chest. Majestic, anything good for that? Essence of Hecatis Crescent, Essence of Angst of Isis. Of Isis. Yeah, we're getting now new shards and new relics. Scroll of Invocation. Ator's Basin, this is where we're at. Some desert crones. Yes, there are a few re reused enemies. Let's get the experience and go forward through here. And here we have some crocodiles, some reptilians. And they're doing lightning damage. Essence of Jed of Osiris. Tell me you never want to fight a crocodile. <laughs> this reminds me a lot of Diablo. Diablo had pretty much like the same. It felt the the same and this is another one of those enemies which i hated like i hated the maggots when i was younger not as in real life like in, not in a icky kind of way it's just that i didn't like them as an enemy in this game because they were causing poison damage and at the time i didn't know ex how to play too well not that i'm a master at it now but I have definitely grown a lot more. Yeah, let's take out these spellcasters here, this overseer. Now, even the classes that you see here, like the overseer, it tells you like what type of magic that they have. Like the reptilian hero doesn't tell you much, but when you see things like champion, you could figure out like what do they have, what type of classes, what type of abilities they have. Because this is the same as this thing right here, right? Because we had a rune and we had defense with a runesmith. So if we encounter enemies like this in the future, you, we can know what type of abilities they might have. Look at this, reptilian durable mantle, 57 armor and plus 17 armor. Now we're starting to look a bit more Egyptian. Buckler of Concentration, yeah, we're not gonna replace that for a while, I believe. Mm. Is there an exit here? I feel like there should be. I don't see one, so I guess not. Okay, well, I guess we're coming, going back down and we're trying another exit.
and some tomb rods. Yeah, these are tough enemies for us. They, they are very strong uh, for against melee damage. Very hard to take them out. It's basically how raids were in the beginning. Like if we're if we can do more elemental damage, that is better. Spells work a lot. Uh, they're a lot more useful, I guess, in these situations. I guess this is all there is to this area. It was just a tomb here. At random. Oh! What is that? Rungu. Rungu is a thrown weapon. We're not using them. I don't care for. It. Let's see. What's That's something out there? Whatever it is. The Beast of Legends. Two skill points. Ooh, we want to do this. A relic shard. Well, that is not that impressive. But six thousand experience. Well, I might go back and do it. Here, seventy-five hundred experience and two skill points. We definitely want to complete this quest. Where do we have to look for it? In Wajet Canyon, so it's in this area where we are now. We need to kill the scorpions. Okay. Free the way for the caravan, I guess. And these are Dune Raiders. Which are like some sort of masked... These are men? Who knows? A conspiration theory? Like, if you want to use their weapons and armors, like, you will need a lot of dexterity. They're more of the assassin type. was their entire camp. Let's turn... to here, yeah. I'm trying to figure out like where could the could the scorpions be? Like, will they be right there or we, do we have to go from here? Maybe it's through their cave. There's a bunch of scorpions here, so maybe maybe here is the quest area. There we go, Beasts of Legend, Ancient Corpus. Well, let's take some of these bugs out. Nice, so we got the reward for two skill points there. And if I go here, we could start investing into Frightening Power, I am going to go with Rune World Explode. We even level 
up at some point. I guess we got three more points, so let's pick on Leash as well. And then I'm going to go with two levels here in the Thunderstrike. Or in the Rune World. Let's go further in with this. Should be better roll attacks as well. Yeah, th those look like cool abilities. Right, did I put points in all of them? Yes, in three of them, right there. That looks really cool and the sound and everything else. And uh, I think it's out of turn thunderous strike, right? Yeah, let's try again. Yes. Now I feel like we should have had a hammer or something. Be like Thor. So for Centurion, what do you think that they have? Like, it's probably lightning, because we can see the lightning on them. And an attack, like the storm, an attack to become a Centurion. A warfare mastery. Reptilian mantle of dexterity. Thousand gold. And we have an overseer here. I'm guessing his armor is special as well, right? Yes, that, that is the, now the cool ability. Mm, can I go through here? Through these reeds? I feels like so. Yeah, we're in the Nile Flood Pain, so... I guess we'll be able to walk f more through, through those areas. Seems like we're losing some of the energy, like we're losing a lot of energy in these attacks. Yeah, that's a... About a 30 consumption, 30 energy consumption per attack, overseer's mantle, green, we'll check it in a second. Oh, they've got a good bite there. Let's invest two points into energy, I feel like that is the right thing to do. Overseer's Mantle, it requires just ranked. 8 lightning resistance, more lightning damage, defensive ability, plus 1 to storm nimbus, and 68 armor. I'm gonna throw it off, it's slightly less armor, it seems like a better thing to have. Hmm. Probably go through here. Let's jump in here to 
some chain lining. Take this down. I think our way is through there. Not sure it's there's anything here. Looks like just some random cave. Sudi the Groveler, Jackalman Hero. Depleting War Bow of Endurance, Protective Hyena Risk Guards. Do we have more Hyena based items? Insulated ring, some health potions. Is there anything else around here? A veteran berserker. How much does this cost? 30 energy. There's nothing more here. We're gonna go back down and follow the path. I can see a trader. Olex is excited to see traders. Because I really like changing the looks of the characters. I'm like, if we can get uh, a good helmet that somehow looks more Egyptian, that would be great. Own war sword. Twenty nine to thirty four with six to eleven piercing damage. We need a hundred and thirty four dexterity. That's just one point away. Slightly shorter sword, but it has a hook on it. It's been hard. New quest givers. Let's see. What brings a foreigner such as you to this place along the Nile? Might that thing be sold here? Yeah, well, let's see. Could we... Yeah, we're gonna sell this. Corinthian armor. I'm gonna put this in the chest. As far as swords go, I think we've found the right one for now. Armors, better shields now. Still don't see anything that's full Egyptian. But here we are with our next quest where we need to find and eliminate some reptilians. But that is all the time that we have for today. I hope you have enjoyed this episode, I hope you like the series, or at least, you know, put it on the background while you go to sleep, because to be honest, that's what I would like to do, and that's what I do with uh, most of these kind of ARPGs. Uh, I go to bed, I play them on, and I look for a while until I fall asleep, and it's really nice, so I hope you you are enjoying it, maybe in the same way, who knows. With that in mind, I thank you very much for watching and I wish you all to have a wonderful day.